computer can take it. Well, maybe. Morning, y'all. They just, uh, well, but they have a clicker elected to do that, too. It don't matter. Yeah, you ought to be able to the access old chicken it salad from the one. Fair Hope Market. Yeah. Okay, good day for Phil. Huh? It'll be a good day for Phil. What? Creole chicken salad and the whole sleeve of crackers. Uh, ah, thank you, sir. As soon as I find an adapter. <laughs> there, there are, there are no. It disappeared. All adapter. of them? Yeah, there, there are two adapters, and those are both plugged in right now. Oh man. Because we, we were here yesterday. You know, there was, uh, hmm. Yesterday we were in line. Man, we have callers aplenty today. Well, we're going to be all right. I'm going to figure out. You got a piece of paper? You can write down who's yeah. calling in? Yeah. Sure, we may have to use yours if we don't have any in this box. Do what? We may have to use yours if we don't have any in this headphone box. There are no adapters back there. My headphone plugs straight into the little oh, that's computer right. jack. Yeah, I don't have I don't have an adapter back there. We'd have used it by now. Cause it like I wouldn't necessarily. You know, anyway, wait, wait, fifteen. All right. Who keeps taking this shit out of here? I don't know. Doug Johnson. Doug Johnson. Doug Johnson keeps taking this shit out of here. Doug Johnson. <laughs> yeah, at eight fifteen every morning, Doug Johnson comes in here and takes out our He's probably the prankster. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if it was a PSR uh, boys. Bras for calls. I thought an numbers? adapter came with every oh, one of these headphone sets. Anyway, safety and bras. Have y'all already looked through all these bags? For a cause. Like, you mean bros for a cause? Bras. For women. As in brassiers. Oh, bras for a cause. Okay. Over the shoulder boulder holders. Okay, yes. Gotcha. Hmm. All right. Well, Stu's got somebody. Uh, we got uh, serial killer at 830. Serial killers. Serial killers. Just, just one killer. Wasn't that, okay. wasn't that the name one. of a, a with the band Green Jelly or something? Didn't they have an album called Serial Killer? I'm not sure. I've Phil, never could heard you the check production Jelly. and see if he's got a pair? So yesterday, I get a long, hey, long pair? text <laughs> from Susan Cox. No, see if he's got an adapter so yeah. we can have why are y'all Why are y'all promoting? Time? Otherwise, they're going to be so hearing much. us. What time does you know, Serial mm -hmm. Killer call in? Well, <laughs> I didn't take time to answer it yet. But what time does Serial Killer call in? 8.30. I think we were the ones who got behind Bo Jackson's stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Gave a lot of airtime to that. Uh, I'll try to get them to support us, you know, sponsor the show. Huh? Okay. Can I hear? Yeah. <laughs> Every word. I'll let you read it later. Yeah. Give me money. Show us the money. Go me and money. Yeah. I'll pull my headphones well, off and put them up. Anybody want to take the damn adapters? Well, they keep disappearing, you know. That's I mean, just retarded. Been, that box is, you know, empty. I mean, it used to have adapters plugged into each headphone, and they're all gone now. Oh, man, there was a roach back there. I just saw it hit the floor. <sighs> well, that's because people eat it. <laughs> You know, we're live. <laughs> You're going to tell someone, really? <laughs> when we get a call, I'll just put my headphones up there. And you'll have to handle the calls. Well, that's why you don't turn it on until you're on the air. No, no, it's no, behind you want the scenes. You want it on early to make sure it's going to work. Behind the scenes. twisty, turny whirlwind of black and white. Want to return to the real world? Just click on the dusty gray twister. Check your headphones. Perfect. Oh, Jinjo, you're back in glorious Technicolor, and all is right with your Maybe virtual a little world. Up. A little more. Oh, you're good. You're good. I'm not feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Where's that right? So yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Speaking. I'm sorry. Andrew Luck says he's not going to be in the NFL anymore. The Indy Colts, Colts quarterback said yesterday the accumulation of injuries forced his hand. I can't stand it. Oh, it's more confusing. Some of that the following is a commercial message. What democratic socialism is about is saying... <laughs>
some politicians are claiming socialism is the prescription for all ills. When it comes to Medicare prescription drugs, they feel the burn to abandon the market forces that have made coverage so popular. They're tempted to import price controls from other countries' socialist systems or erode free market negotiations. And they burn and buy their vote. Congress is considering the socialist policies like price controls which would harm both innovation and our access to treatments. America leads the way in medical innovation, offering hope that breakthroughs for Alzheimer's, cancer, and MS are just over the horizon. New drugs are covered here years before other countries like Greece. Competition and free markets are the best way to enhance Medicare drug coverage. Now more than ever, the Senate must stand strong against price controls and for the free market. Learn more at freemarketmedicare.org. Paid for by Americans for Tax Reform. FM Talk 106.5, the Gulf Coast Weather Authority, and Dr. Bill Williams. The skies will be partly cloudy across the Gulf Coast today. Look for scattered thunderstorms with temperatures in the lower 90s. Tonight, a few thunderstorms, lows in the mid-70s. And from Monday, scattered to numerous thunderstorms and highs in the upper 80s. This is meteorologist Dr. Bill Williams for FM Talk 106.5. FM Talk 106.5, the Gulf Coast Weather Authority. Hi, everybody. I'm Doug Holton, inviting you to join us every Thursday night at 7 p.m. for Tiger Talk Overtime right here on FM Talk 106.5. It's your chance to talk Auburn athletics, specifically this fall, of course, Tiger football for an extra hour following Tiger Talk. Tiger Talk Overtime, Thursday nights at 7, right here, only on FM Talk 106.5. Tiger Talk and Overtime of off Tiger Talk? Yeah. Back to back. Heck yeah. Two hours. Woo! Whether you're in search of a great new bottle of wine, it's going to be a fun year. The best brush spots I think so. Area, Mike and Stu have the answer. With a combined half century in the industry, they bring their wealth of experience to bring you the latest trends, expert advice, and to interviews with Stand you. Stand by. Stand by. They are the dynamic duo of dining. Get ready to turn the mics on, Mike. Show, Stu. It's a food and wine show, trust me. No, oh, Mike's always turned on. It's, it's wine and food. I can tell. Mike does Mike's hot. Great killer. Now it's time to serve you with Mike and Stu on FM We're hot. <laughs> I, I needed to change that. You know, I, I, I start to say something and nothing comes out. It just, Left you wordless. <laughs> now, now, I see an issue of the call news over there. For That's last week. Yeah. Uh, but what does it say at the top? Uh, 70 pages about prep football. Prep football. And we had us some football this weekend. So. Woo-hoo! Man. Yeah. Florida Miami, very exciting game. You know, for neither, the first game of the season, it was good. But neither one of those is a top twenty-five team. I don't think so. Four interceptions for Florida. Florida fans, you wanted Rich Mullen, and you got him. That's as you good as it's going to get. That is as good as you're going to be. Yeah, but uh, somebody showed a picture of uh, Urban Meyer sitting up there in the stands mm -hmm. with a Florida shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. so was Steve Spurrier. So yeah. So good morning, folks. Sunday morning here on the food and wine version yeah. of Sip and Chew. There you know. is an official nip in the air, isn't there, Mike? Once you know, it just seems like when football season starts, it just seems like it gets cooler outside. It just and, feels and cooler. It's, it's like a ninety-two degree nip in the air. Yeah, a ninety-two <laughs> degree nip in the air is for sure. Oh, so and you know, and, and stunning news with Andrew Luck announcing that he's retiring. His body is just broken. He's it happens. Just in so much pain, and and I hate that for him and the fans of Indianapolis, which we got to go to because that St. Elmo Steakhouse in Indianapolis is considered one of the finest in the world. There, mm -hmm. I tied it in. See how that happened. And uh, is that where they had the fire? No, no, no. St. No. Elmo. Fire. No, that is that's down in South Mobile County. Ah, uh, St. Elmo's fire. Okay. Yeah. I, I get them mixed up. up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Saints won last night. Yeah, I was, I was watching that from the uh, my vantage point at the uh, beer festival, mm -hmm. Dolphin Street Beer Fest. Yeah. And uh, man, that place, you know, every place, location sold out. Yeah, I saw that. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, that, that, a lot of sport, and regardless of how warm it was, it was still a, still a breeze downtown, and they had a lot of great entertainment going on. And mm -hmm. 
It was just fun. I like to people watch, and I'm gonna yep. tell you, there was some people watching there last night. <laughs> there was two guys dressed up like uh, Popeye's fried chicken boxes, <laughs> sandwiches. I mean, so are people starting to get dressed up at this now, or is that? I guess because everybody wears their. Because that would be cool. That would make it a lot cooler to me because you know yeah. I went one time with you when the show first started, mm -hmm. and honestly, I don't see me going back and sweating on Dolphin Street yeah. ever again, it's not for me. But if it was going to be some spectacle, like you don't know what you're going to see as opposed to you don't know what you're going to see, yeah. it usually means someone's going to stoop and puke. No, there was, you know, there were some guys who were dressed up like uh, from Germany if, with the little if they socks on and all that. some of that in, you know, a little, not necessarily Mardi Gras, but a carnival well, kind of feel to it. Well, they had like a parade there last night because okay. somebody got married at the cathedral. Okay, and they were having, starting to get really They good. were having their reception at the temple. Mm -hmm. So they had uh, they had a, uh, the procession, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Procession. Uh, nah, okay. There's a, there's a, it's like a little parade, but what they, a second line? Oh, a second line. They do yeah. a second line. They did a second line all the way from the Well, that's road. appropriate. You that was so funeral. cool. Yeah. I didn't see it personally. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there was several videos people posted on Facebook, on that's, social media. Okay. See, I can get all on board it, when it was just walking and sweating, you know. Well, here's that, what. Not exactly my thing. Here's I my sat thing. out with you. I still sweat. I, I, do you still now? No, I'm in air conditioning right now. I'm just talking about uh, with your with your weight loss. Weight, weight loss. Uh, I don't know. I just spent so many years, mm -hmm. you know, drinking beer and sweating that yeah. it makes me uncomfortable. But I, if I find me a good shady spot mm -hmm. with, where there's a breeze, I'm mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. And a beer in my hand, so I'm yeah. fine. But if there's some spectacle to add to it, other than mm -hmm. wow, look at all these people stumbling up and down Dolphin Street. Yeah. How about the half price on your first drink if you come in costume? Oh, I like that. Some yeah. kind of incentive. Well, hopefully, or, or a costume. Well, the thing is, the tickets were 30 bucks, and, you know, if people want to dress up, that's great. Yeah. I, I think it's cool for, yeah. for people to, because they certainly cool. do in New Orleans. Yeah. 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 And, and have fun with it. You know, like they were doing the Popeye's mm -hmm. chicken. Just pop culture references, no politics. Mm -hmm. Leave that crap out of it. Yeah. Because sure. it's all dirty and everyone's wrong. Yeah. Er, 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 Everyone er, is wrong. Everyone's wrong. No matter what your opinion, you wrong. Well, we're getting a little closure this weekend. Uh, we're having the big estate sale. Oh, yeah. Really? This weekend. So if you want some uh, kerosene lamps, we got a few hundred of them for sale. <laughs> and it is not an exaggeration. I did not get the full inventory. I would say it's north of 600. Mm. When you figure in the little ones, the big ones. And there's a lot of big ones. There's floor lamps. But... Uh, I uh, posted a link to the event on our Facebook page, mm -hmm. and uh, you can probably go check it out right now if you're interested. Lots of antique furniture, antique tools, antique fishing gear, uh, uh, depression glass. This was an estate sale? Yes, yeah, my parents' yes. estate, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so head on out to Sims and see where, see where my parents are. What days are going to be on? Uh, yesterday and today. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and then... We have two storage units that once we clear out this house, we empty the storage units into the house and have another event. Okay. That's how much stuff we got packed. <laughs> got any antique wine openers? It is very likely. I don't know. Okay. We hired someone to handle that. Oh. And uh, Heather and I went and walked through the house Friday night. The family was able to come through and get any last minute things they want before the estate sale starts and what I actually had was my ukulele and the guitar were still down mm -hmm. there. They didn't want those getting sold. Heck, I just got the ukulele. Especially ukulele. Oh, yeah, well, the guitar belongs to a friend of mine. So. You could bring that ukulele into the show. I could. And regale us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ran into Lauren Murphy last night. Oh, where, uh, her boat. let's see. She played Boat and Barrel the night before. Where yeah, she, she was just down there for the beer festival. Oh, okay. You, the guitar thing. <laughs> yeah. Get time to think, think over. Yeah, and speaking of selling out, we sold out the first wine dinner at the Fairhope Market. I saw that. Yeah, and, uh, and we have two more coming up September the 18th and the 5th. 18th is already sold out. Wow. The 5th, we have a few more spots available. So if you want to hop on it, again, we shared it on our Facebook page. The event is on Fairhope Market's Facebook page. 
Chris is doing a seafood jubilee at the next one on September 5th. And Chris Sherrill knows a little bit about seafood. A bit. Yeah. Uh, third in the world, people. Mm -hmm. Third in the world. So he yeah. knows a little bit about seafood. I would say, yes. Yeah. And he had a dynamite uh, menu the other night. And I got to help out on it. And it was uh, just terrific. We had a lot of fun with it. And uh, we're going to do these, I think, a couple times a week. I want to get together with a couple of breweries and set up some uh, beer pairing dinners. Mm -hmm. We've got some new breweries coming online. I'm sure you can elaborate more because you were downtown this weekend. And you you live in the thick of Mobile's burgeoning craft brew center. I do. Yeah, you live in, you're the heartbeat. You, Mike Bailey, are the heartbeat of this craft brew center. Yeah, well, you know. Well, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm really, I'm really happy that uh, you know where I live. That so much has blossomed down there. Mm -hmm. I've uh, got a Greer store coming in soon, and yeah. still, still rumblings of Rouse's coming in downtown, and and uh, now all these breweries, and mm -hmm. and I, I, one of the cool ones to go to, and they're all cool, but uh, is Hank Blue. They got a neat, really neat place, and they got a big courtyard that overlooks. You could see uh, all of downtown with no interruptions of the buildings and all that. And the, and the Sunday is family day down there, so it's a fun place to go. It's going to be Spring great. Bring your kids on down to the brewery. Yeah. Watch your parents. You've got a baby. Watch your parents. In drink. a bar. <laughs> <laughs> but, and I think they have food trucks, but it's family day down there. And it's it's really a beautiful, cool looking place. And, and, uh, I've, and, and, you know, I've been to Iron Hand. It's, it's a cool place too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I love the old building that it's in. So Mobile's got a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We are kicking booty right now. Mm -hmm. We are kicking booty. We got to go against the break. When we come back, we're we'll talking to your pal Doug Johnson. What's he talking about? Uh, he's talking about uh, bra bras for a cause. Here's oh, a I'm guy calling in about bras. Well, you know. Okay. But it's per it's probably for a good cause. he's calls. watching the video and knows we need him. Three four three zero one zero six. All righty. Man's ears. Man's ears. It's the bro. You want to talk to him while we're on break? Yeah, well, I'm going to put my headphones up here so y'all can give a listen. Is that a yes? You want to talk to him? Or yeah. Not? Okay. Good morning, Doug. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't wake you up too early, did we? I did a little early, but I'm good. <laughs> hey, if you're awake, you're a step ahead of all three of us. Yes, sir. Yeah, at least you get to stay in bed to do this. Yeah, I didn't have to brush my hair or anything. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> And Mike doesn't worry about it. <laughs> it just fine as it goes. Yeah, he's got that natural boy band going on. <laughs> so, how many years y'all been doing this, Doug? This will be our sixth annual event. Okay, cool. Well, I love I love old Katie. Katie's a sweet girl. Uh, she co uh, contacted me last month about this, so I love to do it, man. Love to do it. Yeah, we're going to try and schedule y'all back on closer to the event as well. Does that sound oh, good? Wonderful. It's, a, it's in October, isn't it? Yeah. October 1st. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll set aside a block for y'all late September to come back on and talk about it again. Well, right now, I know you, you're trying to push sponsors, trying to get sponsors on. And we need to get them on as soon as possible. Yeah. All right, we're going to take you off there. Right, we're going to put you back on hold, and we'll bring you up soon. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Your donated car is going to help save more lives. Just call 800-526-7406 hey, to set the yeah. wheels When we come motion. back, can you crank the my headphones cars, since I hung them over the uh, phone? You want them louder? Yeah, just because they're hanging on the phone. Oh, okay. I'm going and Sam's hitting them. You think you can hear it? Yeah, I'm going to let Mike handle most of it. Early, like they did with mm -hmm. my mom.
Donate I'll charm him with what I can. Yeah, that's him. I can hear him. Blast it away. That sounds perfect. First news. Hear the stories you'll be talking about and searching for all day as we go beyond the headlines <laughs> and above the chat with your first look at breaking news, money, Washington politics, I'm technology, man. entertainment, entrepreneurship, yeah, and sports. We explain why yeah, stories yeah, matter. That's why we here. are referred to as the most important and relevant radio program. Join us weekdays for This Morning, America's First News. To get online, call 343-0106. Now, back to Mike and Stu. Hi, my name is Alon Shai from Shai New Orleans, and you're listening to Sip and Chew from Mike and Stu. That man can cook some pita bread, I'm going to tell you right now. I need some pita bread this morning. And oh, hey, credit I got for you, and we're going we're to get to Doug here in just a second. I brought for you and Charlie and Phil some of the Creole chicken salad that we do at Fairhope Market. And uh, so I'm going to sit here while you're doing and, and I got you some utensils. Charlie, here's a here's a knife. Y'all didn't have my, and Mike, here's your right. chopsticks. Oh, boy. And, and uh, you, so that you can, uh, well, uh, there, there's your American chopsticks. There, okay. But uh, why don't you bring Doug on and let's chatter about some bras. Right. Yeah, we got uh, Doug, Doug Johnson on, and he's with Bras for a Cause. Good morning, Doug. How are you doing? Good morning. Doing great, y'all. Good, good, good. Well, first of all, for those who are listening. First of all. Uh, so this, You know, we're, 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 y'all are in your uh, stage of trying to get sponsors right now for your event. Just uh, go through everything, uh, uh, when y'all started, uh, what, what the cause is for, and what the dates are. You know, just the general stuff. Sure. Um, so Bras for a Cause is a 501c3 nonprofit organization here in Mobile. We are a, a hyper-local group of business people that raise money for breast cancer patients. This isn't going for research. This is going to their daily needs, um, things like gas cards and um, if they're changing their, their, um, the size of their body because they're losing weight from the chemo, then we can get um, new clothes for them, um, help with groceries and, and items like that, their day-to-day -day needs. Um, what we do is, is we have an annual dinner uh, with a show, and what we, we auction off de decorated bras that um, businessmen are modeling. And so we call it Bras for a Cause because the, the bras that are auctioned will help us raise money. Uh, we're in our sixth year, uh, and we've raised over $100,000 in those first wow. five years, and we are proud of that. The event is October 1st, and it'll be held at the locale over on Government Street. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know where that is. That's a cool place. Yeah. So so uh, you were talking about, uh, you, you know, people who are getting radiation and chemo and all that. Uh, you said that they, they their body seems to change and they lose weight and such. Yep, and, and some people uh, will have a mastectomy, will, you know, the, the breast tissue will be removed, right. so we can help uh, get them a mastectomy bra that'll make them uh, look normal again and feel normal. Absolutely. Um, you can go for wigs uh, and, and all those, those things that, that insurance wouldn't necessarily take care of and, and other, these are the, the between the cracks items that, that people oftentimes overlook. Absolutely, I'm, 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 I'm doing that for uh, <coughs> Members of my family that have had, uh, you know, have treatments and things do change. Their bodies change. Uh, so you say these are going to be decorated bras? Yes, and some people get very unique and have a theme going to it. One year, um, a termite company had a bunch of uh, insects and creepy crawlies on the bra. <laughs> um, and, and, I hope they weren't a spider. That would scare Mike. Wow. So any celebrities uh, decorate any of them? Uh, a bunch of local people, and, and I'm sure you've heard of, of plenty of people. I'd hate to say one name and not another, but yeah, we'll have plenty of local models that are well known, um, and then businesses that have put together the bras that you've probably heard of. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! Oh, cool! Uh, you know, this, this this is a great idea. I, I love the idea. And uh, do you have any male models uh, modeling these things? I think he's volunteering, Judge. Uh, <laughs> Doug. Yes, we have about 20 models, and they're all male. And that's, that's oh. the uniqueness of it is that it's males modeling the bra. Oh, okay. Wow. That's funny. Yeah. That's, that's cool. A very Mike, is a, Mike really wants to help y'all out any way he can. 
we look forward to it. <laughs> we we go give you some airtime. Okay, you, you don't want to see me on a bra. <laughs> yeah, Doug, do y'all have a website or anything anyone can go to a Facebook page? Yes, um, the website is brasforcausegulfcoast.org. You can see pictures from the event, buy tickets, and become a sponsor at that website. Okay, and y'all selling tables? Yes, so a, a ticket is $65 a person, or you can get a table of eight for $500. Okay. So discount in bulk then? Of course. <laughs> okay. By, by head count, not by weight, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is a real opportunity for businesses that want to associate with this very worthwhile cause. It's an opportunity for them to participate and and be recognized for their uh, civic uh, activity. Of course, and last year we sold out, we sold well over uh, 600 tickets, and this year we're gonna open up a couple more seats and hopefully to sell out again. Now what's the, uh, what's the strangest or the most great, other than the uh, termite company, uh, <laughs> what's the most creative bra y'all seen? Oh, you know, each year it's a little different. Um, well, we've had a, a leather <clears throat> themed, we've had a Native American themed, um, so it's, uh, we had a guy on roller skates a year or two ago, and, and <laughs> it was like a, a 70s game. Oh, cool. Kind of a disco, 70s disco know. thing. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I hate people had to listen to that music. <laughs> hey, that was great music back in our day. <laughs> well, I have one other burning question. Are the models going to be topless before they wear the bras, or are they wearing the bras over their clothes? Uh, there's a little bit of both. We we have them all wear, <laughs> wear jeans uh, on the bottom, and then some will be shirtless, and, and some will have an, an undergarment of some kind under the bra. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Lord. <laughs> right. I'm getting this image in my head. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Doug, well, real quick, just recap again for everyone where they can get uh, information if they want to participate, if they want to be a sponsor, or if they just want to get tickets to watch Mike wear a bra. Great. Uh, Bras for a cause, Gulf Coast org has all the information. You can become a sponsor there, um, as, as well as buy tickets. Bras for a cause, Gulf Coast org. Uh, well, Doug, thank you for uh, pointing out the, the, the fact that there are, there are all these little side items that people don't think about uh, when receiving treatment, uh, especially like gas to the, you know, getting a gas car to go to get treatment, and mm -hmm. and and it's probably covers some prescription drugs too, I'm sure, right? Just all their immediate needs that, that aren't taken care of other ways. Right, right. Well, man, this sounds like a great cause. I, I'm glad y'all done so well, and I hope y'all sell out again this year. Thank you, and together we can make a difference. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Good Thank job, Doug. Good job. Hey, uh, uh, did, uh, Stu, did you see the text from Phil? Yeah, I see. Uh, <clears throat> someone uh, wants to know where the... Uh, the uh, estate sale is, it's at 3665 Orchard Ridge Drive in Sims, 36575. The house is actually at the corner of Orchard Ridge and Pineland Drive. There is overflow parking next door at my house. And uh, so feel free to park in my yard anywhere you want. Uh, ignore the grass. So I, cut, I cut the lawn with a weed eater. All right, today is the second half of the estate sale. Correct. What are the hours? I believe it's till either four or five this afternoon. It started right about the time we went on the air. Oh, okay. So it's underway right now. Right now, right this minute. And you saved your ukulele and you took it. Right, right, right. The ukulele is up at the house now under the watchful eye of Heather and and uh, Molly the bird dog and Escher the kitty cat. Well, good luck. Bugs with your... not paying any attention to it. Good luck with your uh, <laughs> estate sale. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, the bras for a cause. It's, you know, I was lucky in one respect with my rehabilitation. I can't take you anywhere. Where are your chopsticks? They don't work. <laughs> they don't work. Yeah, they don't work. But, uh, Mike, you, know, you that, skipped breakfast? That mine, you know, well, workers, comp, now. workers comp covered everything that I had to right. go through, including the gas to get to the treatment, which turned out to really? be a lot. Yeah. Hey, can we apologize to the Facebook folks for having to view this? <laughs> do you want just a, do you just want a straw? My, my cracker crumbled. Your cracker crumbled. Well, don't push on it so hard. Yeah. You don't have to manhandle a cracker. 
it'll crack. That's why they're called that. For those of you just tuning I'm in, just have no to, idea what we're talking I'm about. I'm trying to get yeah. the image. My, Mike wearing is a bra eating out some of my head. chicken salad on yeah. the crack. Creole chicken salad from the Fairhope Market. What's the difference between Creole and Cajun in uh, terms of heat or spices? Uh, neither. They're, they're, they're the exact same spices and stuff. Uh, uh, Cajun food is peasant food, one pot dishes like gumbo and jambalaya. Creole food is city folk food, it has a strong influence from France, especially creams and butters. So it's fancier. Right, it's fancier, but the spices are about the same. Because of the use of cream and butter and everything, the uh, heat that comes with those spices isn't as pronounced. It kind of helps mute it, but mm -hmm. they're using the same amount. It's yeah. just uh, That's about right, this is good stuff. Well, thank you. This is delicious. You're going to save some for us, I hope? Yeah, yes. Take yeah, it. he got you some chopsticks, too, Charlie. Oh, okay. I didn't have my chopsticks, Charlie. I'm just <laughs> watching him drop that big lump. You know, you can put that on in two two pieces instead of one. Wow. That makes no <laughs> sense at all. <laughs> hey, I bet you're fun to watch eat uh, after a few uh, beverages. You're I'm seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> He's had two bottles oh, of water. Oh, you just came here directly from <laughs> Dolphin Street? Yeah. When, when we come just... back, we're going to be talking with Wade Price from Serial Killer. If nothing else, the I... punniest name of a restaurant. I love the name of the mm -hmm. yeah. Serial Killer. Yeah, word wordplay is a great... For a, for a breakfast and brunch place? Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. Perfect. Yeah. Or unless it's nothing but meat. Because they don't eat any cereal. It's just me. We're taking a break? Yeah, 343-0106. Like I said, Wade Price will be on when we get back talking about cereal killer. They can't pick up their mind. You can get Mike runs away. Now i got to have a taste of that. And you might think that South Carolinians are just a little bit off. Would you believe their barbecues yellow with a mustard sauce? to you by your CBD store of Westmobile. Shop in our relaxing environment where you can sample products and get honest information about how CBD can actually benefit your health naturally. Visit your CBD store of Westmobile at Hillcrest and Greenlaw today. <laughs> FM Talk 106.5, the Gulf Coast Five. Weather Authority, and Dr. Oops. Bill Williams. Yeah, the sky will be partly cloudy across the Gulf Coast today. We have more than one night storm. We have temperatures in the lower yeah, 90s. Uh, despite a few thunderstorms in the mid 70s, and from from Monday, scattered to numerous thunderstorms. The highs in the upper 80s. Yeah, it was so scary. I'm just Dr. Bill Williams for FM Talk 106.5. FM Talk 106.5, Gulf Coast Weather Authority. Yeah, I'm a no, it's my way of showing my appreciation to Jack <laughs> Lee for saving me so much money on my insurance because I recovered from the store. Don't go in there. Yeah, don't let me out of here. It's getting a bit stuffy. Oh, my gosh. Is that? It is. Sweet holy Moses. I'm sick to death of seeing that lizard on TV telling me what to do with my 15 minutes, Sam. Well, the joke's on him because that's exactly how long it took me to string him up by the kookaburras. Jack Green is not going to appreciate this one yeah. bit. Sure he will. I'm his spokesperson. Oh, yeah, go okay. ahead and eat your house flies. Call the Jack Green Insurance Agency there, today and find out how you can save money on your auto, all types of commercial yeah, equipment and business insurance. Ask really about fine. wind coverage, too. Sure. It's likely you're paying uh, way too much. That's what I'm more yeah, about, saving okay. people money on their... You just need to worry about saving oxygen right now, sweetheart. Jack Green Insurance Agency in Mobile. Ask for Jack. 344-5393. The Pensacola Beat Center is proud to present one of your very favorite bands, Widespread Panic. I don't got any friends. Oh, that's good. Widespread Panic with two shows, Saturday, August 31st and Sunday, September 1st. And FM Talk 106.5 is giving away pairs of tickets to both the Saturday and the Sunday show. Wake up and face That's right. One winner gets tickets shows. It's your chance to win tickets to see one to a panic at the Pensacola Bay Center on FM Talk 106.5. 
to get on the line, call 343-0106. Now back to Mike and Stu. with Billy Small Batch Bacon, and I'm here from Old 27 Grill. I didn't think Billy was ever going to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we use a lot of his bacon in our cooking. You know, I had the, uh, I had the uh, uh, Brussels sprouts last week. And last that's week. the one uh, uh, Bill Highland made, Billy Highland. Came. Okay. Yeah, it was yep. Billy's bacon and Brussels sprouts and heavy cream. I had pork belly in it. Yeah, Billy's. Yeah, we get it in the belly form. Mm -hmm. And bacon and pork belly are the same thing once, once they're smoked. Delish. They're yeah. So good. So we just cut it really big in there. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's one of the fun things. Like, oh, uh, I need some bacon. Go grab a pack of the Billies. No. Oh, sorry me. We also get a Kelly's bacon from there in Baldwin County. Uh, 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 Hall Sausage will be coming on board soon. They're going to drop by this week with a sample pack for Chris to, cool. to start figuring out what we're going to carry because we definitely want Hall Sausage in the market. Absolutely. It's uh, We're trying to get as many local ingredients as we can. Speaking of local ingredients, did you see that Rennie's uh, Honey Butter had their grand opening? They've got a brick and mortar now. Ooh -hoo. Go get your own Honey Butter. Awesome. Speaking of great things going on in Fairhope, We've got on the phone now Wade Price with Cereal Killer, which you've had the chance to eat at yet. It's the first place I get to eat at in Fairhope <clears throat> once I get this schedule figured out. It's going to be your place, Wade. Well, come on down. You know where to find us. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Actually, I don't. What's I do. the address? Uh, it's 85 North Van Croak. All right. Well, you've got a new menu, don't you? Yeah, we, uh, we just launched a breakfast uh, 8 a.m. to, and we're up until 2. So, you know, breakfast and brunch seven days a week. Uh, what, oh, wow. what kind of new stars do you have on the menu this time, Wade? Uh, my favorite right now is a tie between the duck chubiquiles, and then we also do a bacon carbonara fried rice. Oh, wow. Wow. Those two, uh, those two are really, really good. Uh, uh, Mike, are you familiar with carbonara? No, no okay. I've heard of it, but it's it's a pasta it. dish in Italy that's traditionally eaten for breakfast or a, or a late breakfast, where the sauce is raw egg. You cook everything, pour the raw egg on, and it sets up just enough to be like a really creamy alfredo or something on ah. there. And now you're doing it as a fried rice, Wade. You guys have some whacked out imagination going on. Yeah, we try to, you know, our big our big goal is do things that no one else is doing. You know, I'll say that for as creative as we possibly can. So, you know, I, I, I agonize over the menu, you know, constantly. Hmm. Well, Mike, you've eaten there. Want to I, 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 you're not going to take the uh, tater tots off, are you? No, uh, we still have the truffle tots. Let me try it. I mean, people come specifically for the oh my god they're they're killers let's see i'm, I'm gonna have to get down there because i am they're so fine <laughs> i have said this many times and i maintain this that only a psychopath would choose a french fry if tater tots are available exactly yeah there's there's the something they got people man. locked up in their basement or something <laughs> if they'd rather have a fry than a tot oh for sure <laughs> so um what all different cultures do you have combined Right now, have you made a checklist of the different cuisines that you've infused into your menu? Uh, well, we have, you know, we do we do the chilaquiles. <laughs> uh, we do a, a, a Mexican street corn grits now. Oh my we're here, gosh! We have, you know, we have Mexican, we have Italian, we, do, we have Asian, uh, American. I mean, this is pretty much straight straight up American with our morning Lucy and our bullseye French toast. So, I mean, we we check a few boxes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. and, oh, and here's Mike trying to figure out how to use Facebook again. <laughs> He's just converting from his MySpace page to Facebook. It's about uh, time, huh? <laughs> all right. All right. And uh, do you have a website or a Facebook page, Wade? We have our Facebook page and we have an Instagram as well. If you search Zero Killer Fairhope, you'll find us. Yeah, the the name is great and it's spelled cereal like bowl of mm -hmm. killer. Uh, yeah, once again, one. can you give them the address and the phone number? Uh, 85 North Bancroft Street. And then our phone number is 
251-279-2083, I believe. Because <laughs> it's in your phone. You don't ever dial it, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 like, I just hit serial killer and, and call it up. <laughs> Everybody do that. <laughs> All right. And uh, eight to two, seven days a week, you said, right? Yes, sir. All right. I hope everybody comes down there, floods you all out, and you're so busy that you have to close early because you ran out of product on a Sunday. How's that sound? That sounds awesome. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks for calling in, Wade, and uh, I look forward to getting in there and just diving head deep into that menu. I think Billy and Highland and I are going to start hanging out there. Yeah, yeah. Come on down. We got you. All right. Sure appreciate it. It's uh, Wade Price with Serial Killer in Fairhope. Thank you, Wade. Yeah, I got that new menu going for, for Bruh. No, I'm going to tell you, those, are, those are tater tots. <laughs> Just Have you had chaliques? No. Okay. I, I haven't. I've always wanted to. It is a breakfast of tortillas with like a red enchilada sauce and eggs and the tortillas just get soft in the sauce and then the eggs on top with the yolk running and mm -hmm. already it's got your attention. There's an egg yolk running on it. There's an egg yolk running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my headphones back. Won't you talk about food stuff? Okay, okay. well, let me tell you, um, we're in football season here. And uh, footballs and war feet, eagle. Feet ball, feet ball. But uh, you know, you can turn these down there. Just recently. <laughs> Just recently, in the last five days, uh, I used to coach football out at uh, Cottage Hill Park, mm -hmm. and I coached tiny mites, mm -hmm. one of the little, little four, five, six-year-olds. And right. you all won a were, few games? We won a few games, and, and back then we were called the Rams, but something real tragic happened here in Mobile recently. Mm -hmm. uh, the they coach, started playing coach soccer? A uh, coach at Tremier Park. Uh -huh. uh, he ordered it uniforms from overseas for oh, his yeah. boys. I saw you shared that. And, <laughs> You know, the company he ordered from, they took his money and never shipped the uniforms. And, uh, which is, that's just horrible to, to steal from little kids like that. Right. So I understand there's a GoFundMe page going on. And I encourage our listeners to, you know, to, to find, just go to GoFundMe in Tremere Park. And uh, the coach is uh, Tommy Vine, and they're the Tremere Park Saints. But these little boys are four, four and five years old. Mm -hmm. Their knee pads come down to their ankles, okay, <laughs> and they're just as cute as they can be. And these jerseys, they were nice. They had their names on them, and mm -hmm. they were multi, you know, with the numbers. They just weren't ironed on. They right. were they were sewn on. Right. And they lost about forty forty five hundred dollars. Good grief! Didn't they have uniforms at academy or some other well, place like that? Well, this is the point I'm trying to make. You know, uh, this is a reason why why yeah, you may think you're gonna save a few bucks by ordering overseas. But you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know, you don't know, you know with. when it's going to And the guy out. even sent them video of the uniforms being made and all that, but that's part of their scam. Now he's out $4,500. Right. And that the parents raised the money and got up for the boys. So, you know, uh, so now they've got to come up with a, where we're going to get our uniforms from. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, I hope the community really comes together. And I'm sure some people will step do it, up. Do it for the boys. Do yeah. it for the boys. Do for it for the kids. Youth. Yeah, yeah, the kids. For the youth. And, and, but keep your money local, folks. Mm -hmm. This is why you shouldn't be sending your money out of town or out of the country. Keep it local. Yeah, especially. Because, you know, uh, I tried Wish.com. has gotten very popular. Mm -hmm. I ordered some stuff in October for Christmas that didn't arrive until the end of January. <laughs> Because the way they do it is they have big truck, the the, yeah. the cargo tr uh, trailers that you see that they load on and off the ships, and then it gets hooked onto a truck. Those are all assigned to zip code or mm -hmm. number of zip codes, and they just throw stuff in it until it's full. Mm -hmm. And when it's full, it ships. And if you're like one of only five people in your zip code ordering, it may take months for it to get full. So you wish your your stuff had arrived yeah. before Christmas time. And don't buy any clothes from them, man. I got <laughs> I got jackets that were the biggest men's jacket they sold that I ended up giving to a 12-year-old girl. I mean, there was no chance of it fitting me at any time in my life since mm -hmm. I had double digits yeah, in my head. I got your money. Yeah. And I don't know why, you know, I, I know that I have a lot of friends who order from Amazon and, and all that. I have friends that work for Amazon. Mm -hmm. But, you know, th those people don't spend money in your in your market. They don't spend money uh, supporting your kids' youth football well, team. Amazon's spending money in our market now. They're employing people. Well, that's not yeah. to say. Yeah. yeah. 
Here, here, here's a vision that I have. If this trend continues, and it probably will, 10 years from now, maybe sooner, you're going to go all over not only Mobile, but every city in America, and there's just going to be thousands of abandoned, yeah. empty malls, shopping That's centers, strip malls, large stores. That's where it's headed, Charlie. That's to, where it's to headed. To save a buck. And it's, it's not only with Amazon and, and uh, the other online shopping stores, you can go to the big box stores and you can order everything online there too and, 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 and uh, have it shipped to your house. You don't even have to go to the mall. They'll, they'll ship it to you. Well, what it, what it will come down to, and this is the only way the survival happens, because guys, if this is the way, the way it's headed, that's natural. That's the mm -hmm. way it's supposed to head, and everything else is a dinosaur and should die. Mm -hmm. and just, like wanna, with, just like with newspapers. If you want to preview, they should have been dead twenty five. Well, here's the if thing. If you want to preview, go to J C Penney's yeah. this afternoon. Yeah. Well, that's true. There yeah. won't be anybody there, and I, I don't know how the one. I don't know how the one in uh, Spanish Fort is even still open. There's no cars there at all ever. But to what you do to get the people in the store is, mm -hmm. if you want to save money on home improvement. You go to Lowe's, you go to Home Depot. But there's not a soul in there that knows what you're doing or yeah. how to use it or how to use this equipment or how to install anything. Mm -hmm. If you want some help with it, you go to Ace Hardware. Their hours aren't as convenient, the prices are a little higher, but everybody that works in an Ace Hardware knows exactly what you're doing, how to do it, and what you need to do it right. Right. And they will help you through the process. I will, I will say that is true. All right. If you cannot compete on the price, then you give a service that they can't offer. Right. If you can't come up with that, then you're a dinosaur and you should go extinct. You got to figure it out. That's the nature of an economy. We're, we're getting to be antisocial. <laughs> we really are. Right. And that's but, sad. And we have been our entire lives, and our as long as human beings have been walking the planet, we have had tribes. We want to stick to the tribe. We don't want the other tribe coming over unless they got a pretty girl or a steak or something <laughs> that we want. That is human nature. State. It's not anything new. We have always been isolationists. Mm -hmm. It is human nature. Too many people are a bad thing. So what you got to do is figure out how to survive in that climate. Food and wine mm -hmm. brings people together. Yep. Food and wine brings yep. the world together. 3430106, we got one segment left, and we're going to talk about some renovations and new things going on. Oh, we are. Yeah. Yeah, he, Heroes Westmobile did a renovation. Hmm? Heroes of Westmobile did a renovation. Oh, yes. Cool. I have been. Yeah. Time to Eat has renovated their middle dining room. The Royal Stam has a new menu. And I have invited Dave, if he wants to get someone to call in one Sunday morning, they can come on. So, you know, just, you just kind of get somebody to roast up on Sunday morning. The old west. It's hard to do when you're there with three o'clock in the morning on Saturday night. A duel, just one on one. Okay, Bill, I'm here. Hello, can hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Well, it uh, sounds like response is pretty quick. Yeah, it does. It sounds like you're coming right back to me and I'm not hearing my echo on, on your line. That can't be a good sign. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're uh, we've had some problems with the internet here. Um, I don't want to hear that. Okay. Uh, and there's some every now and then uh, listening to. And I think this is at y'all's end. There's something. Did you go off the air a couple of brief times? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Every now and then there's an interruption in the signal. Well, now, I may, I, when we uh, had the uh, guests on that we were talking to off the air, I had to lift the sound because uh, otherwise it, it's killing him on the phone line. Yeah. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. It was all the else, but... Uh, anyway, well, well, sounds, sound okay. Okay. sounds good now, sure. and uh, have a good okay. show, man. Shane's in here. And so you can have that Saturday feeling every day of the week. Probably. Call or text uh, plan. I'll put these up here. Yeah, he wants to go over there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Issue a challenge. Oh, I just did. Investment advisory services offered only by duly registered. <laughs> Thanks, Wade. I see the number on there. Nothing is more important than <laughs> your family and property.
That's why you should make a free call right now to Vivint, the number one smart That's home system provider. That's not a shame, McBride, is it? Vivint will make your home safer and more secure. That's a friend of mine. It's a state-of-the-art oh, system yeah. that's so simple to use. Vivint smart home specialists you get your provide chicken a world-wide monitoring of your yeah, system. Yeah, I got a little. 24-7, 365. They don't teach you, dude. No, it's good. It's good. You can't. And with the 4.5 star rated Vivint smart home mobile app, you control your entire house from anywhere. Locks, cameras, security systems, all at your fingertips on your mobile device. Call Vivint now and get a free Free quote, professional installation, and full smart home service for as little as $2 per day. Equipment purchase or service agreement required. Conditions apply. Call now. A smart home is a safe home. So protect about your family and remote. your property, home or business. Yeah, yeah we didn't really system. get to talk a lot about it. 432 8430 That's 800-432-8430. Oh. 800 Call now. 800-432-8430. 800-432-8430. Penelope's closet is open at its new location, 2930. Somebody sent you a book. Penelope's yeah. Closet is the thrift store for Penelope House. Well, and all them. funds raised by the sale of donated household items and cheaply yeah, used clothing help Penelope House Please. fulfill the commission <laughs> they provide they safety, send those protection, and support for yeah. victims of domestic oh, okay. violence. Bring your items and get go. some great bargains at Penelope's Closet. <laughs> 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 You're going to eat that cracker after it's spelled oh, down man. or give it to me and throw it away. Yeah. We got the review copies earlier. Okay, this is the full copy. Call three from uh, Eliana. Yeah. Now back to my house too. Outstanding. You're listening to Sip and Chew with Mike and Stu. And I'm Jonesy Jones. You can find me on YouTube. Jonesy Jones Music. Also, Facebook Crown Jewels. Awesome entertainer. Awesome entertainer. Fantastic but, band. Um, She's a great singer. Nice trombone player. Uh, we got a kind of cute. We got a caller, Shane, uh, someone I know, friend of mine. He he wants to issue a challenge. So go ahead, Shane. Hey, good morning, guys. How y'all doing? Good. All right. I just want to challenge all the Zip and Shoe listeners this morning um, to go over to the GoFundMe page that Mike was talking about earlier uh, for the Tremere Park Go. And, and, and y'all don't hate. I mean, now I can remember whenever I was. My kids are all older now, but as far as, uh, you know, kids' sports and stuff like that, I've been fired. It is the best time you'll ever have. Oh, there's... Y'all get over there, and, I mean, come on, y'all donate. Let's get these kids to get on, guys. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Boy, you, that's a good shout out. Uh, we would like some uh, uh, cupcakes again one day, though. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike is speaking I challenge, for himself. I Mike, challenge it, uh, other listeners to bring us some cupcakes <laughs> one oh, Sunday morning. Oh, no, don't don't, open don't that start game. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Shane. We, I, I hope uh, people here can listen to you and, and uh, take your challenge. And uh, yeah, let's get these kids some uniforms. I agree. All right, man. Thank you, sir. And look, I didn't write it down. I hope one of y'all have the information on how they can contribute. Share it on our Facebook page, Mike. All right, and I'll find it and I'll put it on our Facebook page. Okay. Certainly will. That'd be, that'd be fine. All right, yeah. thank you, Shane. And uh, Mike and I just got a little package that we opened up, and it yeah. is the full copy, the just hit the presses copy of Teen Chef Cooks, uh, our good friend, Eliana Delacostas, Food Network's Chop Teen Grand Champion. Yes. We had the review copies, you know, so the photos are a little black and white, and, you know, it's just for you to get an idea. This is the full, oh, my gosh, it's beautiful photography. No, you okay. see? Yeah. Go, go and right that's ahead. so important. And I'll uh, try to remember to give it back to you. <laughs> All right. We have, we have a friend who's in the photography business, and he does a lot of food mm -hmm. photography, and that is so important selling yeah. books today. It is. It's the, the most important thing really is. Really? More most than, people never more than read, a recipe? Most people never even attempt a recipe. In now, now I'm sad that I cut down that <laughs> thorny tree in my backyard because I opened the book and what do I see? First thing, Myers lemon balsamic braised chicken. There you go. <laughs> but you're right about that, Stu, because mm -hmm. when I'm scrolling through Facebook yeah. and I see a, something wow. delicious on Facebook, I automatically save it to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to my phone. And, right. uh, that recipe, even though I probably never have pulled it up again, but uh, I worked at one place and I was going to uh, do a cooking demo on uh, WKRG, I believe, and the owner was like, "Leave one thing out of the recipe." Why? 
I don't, I don't want them making it at home because they won't come in here and like, dude, no one ever makes anything that they see on TV. That's about it. And uh, John Nodar even told me, he said, maybe one out of every 1,500 people that watches the segment might actually try the recipe. Yeah. And the whole idea is to create awareness and some mm -hmm. interest. Yeah, and especially uh, on WKRG's cooking segment, it's the traditional four minutes, and, and yeah, like the long extended thing you get on Studio 10. So you really don't go through a recipe. You're you're talking mm -hmm. about your event, and it's the way it's supposed to be. You talk about your event, you talk about your restaurant, and uh, like if there's any new changes, like Heroes Westmobile. Yeah, they just uh, shut down for a week or so. Completely reinvented the uh, the interior of the place. Looks fantastic. They're not the only ones. Time to Eat out in uh, Theodore just renovated one of their dining rooms. I cannot wait to see that. And Royal Scam's got a new menu. Everybody is updating. They're changing with the times, Mike. They're well, changing that's good. with the times. So you've got to get rid of that dial, and that dial <laughs> phone that you've got. I have some teenage granddaughters. i got to get them this book. Just the front, Eliana's picture on the front. But to see somebody in their teen years actually cooking something. Well, on the fourth cookbook. And yeah, and, I, that and I'm looking at these two, slow cooker mango pepper pork. But Charlie, you remember. Onion, bacon, and jalapeno marmalade. You remember that she was just like 12 years old? 12. Oh, she yeah. first came on our show. Eggplant rollatini. And now yeah. she's in college. Second year of college. Our little girl is grown up. little girl's grown up. Oh, I got a question though, Mike. Yeah? Where did you eat? Uh, Fairhope Market. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have become a regular. Uh, you know, <coughs> as it's is John. Mike, you got to slow down cook. on that chicken salad. All this now. stuff is good. <laughs> I can't stop. Let me put it away. That's not far enough away, but it's good. We're hearing smacking lips and stereo. And <laughs> well, it's good. Sound. <laughs> it's good. Uh, you know, it's it's just, I can go in and get it fresh. I can't wait till y'all do a soup bar. Oh, yeah, it's coming in the fall. In fact, this, uh, I think Friday, Chris made chicken and sausage gumbo, which we've run before. We keep those in the cold case. Yeah. For now, when winter gets here, we are going to have hot wells or in the fall. We just, there's a nip. We need to get rid of the 100 heat index, mm -hmm. really, to do soups. Yeah. But, uh, but he also did, if you want to come by, pick one up this week, take it home, heat it up. Mm -hmm. Shrimp, crab, and crawfish bisque. Mm -hmm. So, with a little corn in there and mm -hmm. creamy and yeah, I think so I'd consider a bisque a uh, summertime. Uh, <laughs> oh, all the so heavy cream does that for you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the seafood. Gazpacho is a summertime soup. Okay. Yeah. I've had the, I've had not there, but I've had the uh, squash soup. Mm -hmm. That's great in the summertime. It was it a warm soup or a cold soup? It was warm, but no. uh, some lighter soups are are, are good. Uh, yeah. Spicy soups, uh, and I like uh, Thai coconut, mm -hmm. a little spice and a little sweetness to it. Uh, yeah, it's very much a summertime. I went by I went by a Mediterranean uh, sandwich company the other day in Daphne and they got the real best chicken salad. Well, chicken you know what? Outfit. I did not, and that's what inspired me to go. Uh, I, I wasn't going to get the sandwich, but I got some soup. Oh, I was okay. craving soup. Mm -hmm. And during for lunch, sometimes when I as I get older, which my thirty-two year old dermatologist told me that I was getting old. Well, that's why my skin's doing what it's doing. You know. Uh, uh, but so you I, hadn't noticed if I eat lunch, if I eat a heavy lunch, I get tired and sleepy before the days are with. Yeah. So soup is the perfect thing. Anyway, well, let me run down my list real quick. Wemo's wings, best wings in Mobile, hands down. Uh, Sabai Thai cuisine. Every week since they've opened, we've been there. Little Mo's barbecue the other day while I was at Walmart getting the tires spun around and the oil changed around. And then Heather brought me home some cheese cotton. Some wonderful cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Love me some cheese cottage. This is the correct time. Oh, okay, cool. We <laughs> were rushing everything. We thought we was leaving. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, I just, the uh, Wemo's Mohot. Mm -hmm. So they got, you know, they got mild, which shouldn't exist. If you're going to eat hot wings, they need to be hot. Yeah. If you don't want any hot at all, just eat a regular gag of chicken wings, shut up, and sit at the kids' table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Medium, hot, hotter, hot, hot, and mo hot. And then there's They're another nuclear. one that's hotter than that. I stayed with mo hot. And at Sabai, they had the papaya salad that I used to get 
uh, it is a salad made with papaya. It's not sweet at all. There's fish sauce, all this in it. One of the hottest things I've ever eaten in my life. My gosh, it was hot. Awesome. And I didn't even get the hottest level day. <laughs> Folks, get out there, support local, buy, be local, buy local. Make a donation to that football team. To help yeah, out there, yeah. For them. help out all these causes, man. A little servers dollar here, a little dollar there. Tips. Yeah, yeah. servers earn your tips. Keep your money local. Yeah, keep your money on your mind and your mind on your money. <laughs> and provolone. 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 Anything you want, and as is right, and <laughs> Mike's going to sing, so I'm going to shut this off for your benefit. Hey, look, there's Dan Navarro. Uh, it changes, Dan, but uh, I'm there today. Loser. 